Good evening, and welcome to commencement for the class of 2012. My name is Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Chelsea Morgan, and I've been involved in many activities at Euclid High School, including National Honor Society, the Euclid High School Ambassador <laughs> Program, cheerleading, film club, and I was a trainer for the basketball team. I've took three AP courses during my high school years. This spring, I was named a high school scholar at our academic achievement banquet. This commencement, I will graduate with a 3.5 cumulative grade point average. Next fall, I'll... <laughs> Next fall, I'll be at Kent State University. My name is Dante Morgan. I have played football, tennis, and ran track. I've also been involved with Key Club, National Honor Society, and Film Club. I took three AP courses during my high school career, and tonight I will graduate with a 3.7 commutative GPA. I plan to attend Bowling Green State University in the fall. We would like to talk to you about how we want our commitment to be a respectful event. We know tonight is a very happy occasion for all families, but we ask that all people in the stands tonight be respectful not only of our graduate, but of the others as well. We know that you will cheer for your names when they are read, but we ask that you, your cheers are reasonable so everyone can hear their graduate's name called. Soon we will be, begin our processional. After that, we will present the flags of the United States. We ask that you be silent during the time the flags are coming to the stage. We also ask that all members of the audience be respectful to the speakers, Dr. Jones, Dr. Smilak, Ms. Hopkins, Mrs. Van Ho, and the Board of Education. And we'll have speeches from our Val Victoria and our salutatorian. Got it. Thank you for your attention tonight. We look forward to a wonderful commencement. Now, members of our Junior Naval ROTC program will present the colors. Sergeant Major Rethage. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the marching on of the colors and remain standing for our national anthem. Please remove your hats and stand as the band plays our national anthem.
Sergeant Major Rethage, please retire the colors. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Welcome everyone. Welcome everyone to the Euclid High School's 63rd commencement exercise. I am Dr. Joffrey Jones, superintendent of the Euclid City Schools, and I'm proud to be with our graduates and their families this evening. Before I call up senior members of Coral Masters and Varsity Chorale to perform, I would like to introduce some of the dignitaries who have joined us tonight. I ask that they stand briefly as I introduce them. First, Kay Van Ho, President of the Euclid Board of Education. Next, Donna Sudar, Vice President of the Board. And Board members Kathy DeAngelis, Angela Lisey, and Kent Smith. Also on stage this evening are members of my staff, including John Schweitzer, our Assistant Superintendent for Academic Services, Ted Lysak, Director of Curriculum and Instruction, and Kimberly Allen, Director of Pupil Services. Thank you. Dr. Smilek will continue later and introduce members of the high school staff. I ask that Ms. Ross and our vocal performers take the stage at this time. And now, under the direction of Ms. Shauna Ross, assisted by Mr. Ford Thompson, Jr., and accompanied by senior Anne-Marie Kolbus, senior members of Carl Masters and Varsity Chorale will lead us in singing the school's alma mater and the senior song, just for a little while. Tradition is that everyone stands during the alma mater and sings along. The words are provided in the programs, and seniors, you also have the words on the back of the card you're holding. We sing just the first verse together, and when the singers are finished and seated, Ms. Robin Hopkins, unit principal for the class of 2012, will present her senior farewell, followed by the speeches of the salutatorian and valedictorian. And now, the alma mater.
Good evening. Good evening, parents, family, colleagues, and distinguished guests. And hello to the class of 2012. I cannot believe it's been three years. What an honor it has been to serve as your principal. You have been interesting, to say the least kind and mean, quiet and loud, polite, sometimes rude, funny and serious, happy and sad. But I've loved every single moment of it and wouldn't trade it for anything. Even though you didn't choose my theme for the senior t-shirts, I'm okay with that. I'm okay, you chose a good one. The world is not ending. We're just taking it over. My challenge to you is to really do that. Take it over. Take over the college campuses. Show them who you are, men and women who can achieve at high levels. And yes, you can have a little fun at the frat parties too. Take over the job market and let them know you are qualified, capable, and ready to excel. And no, you cannot have a day off. Take over the family by raising children who are respectful, responsible, and resourceful. And please do that before they get to me. Take over our planet by caring for our environment. Recycle, reuse, reduce. The streets are not recycling bins. Take over the community in which you live. Make those in charge responsible for the words they speak and the promises they make, unless you just want it to be ratchet. <laughs> Take control of yourself. No more excuses. No more negativity. Sweet Brown said, ain't nobody got time for that. You are the designer of your own destiny, but only if you work at it. And finally, take over the laughter. Do not be so grown that you forget to laugh. I mean, laugh so hard that it makes you wet your pants. Make the world everything you wish it to be because the world is not ending. You are taking it over. Farewell, class of 2012. I will miss you. At this time, I'd like to introduce the next speaker. This young man came to us in ninth grade from St. Williams and did not have trouble finding his place here at EHS. Honors classes were his mainstay until he ventured to take two AP classes his senior year. He found his niche in the Career Tech Cisco program and has placed two years in a row in the national competitions. 
He has also participated with the Varsity Chorale and Big Show as a musician, maintaining a 4.363 GPA. <laughs> is what landed him a full ride to Cleveland State University. Without any further from me, your 2012 salutatorian, Brandon Sinkovic. Four score and seven, wait, that's not right. <clears throat> First and foremost, congratulations to your class of 2012 valedictator, Jody Ferlito. What an honor it is to share the stage with such a raw example of excellence. And to you, class of 2012, what an honor it is for me to stand before you and try to bestow some sort of wisdom upon you when some of you have been infinitely more inspirational to me than I could have ever been to you. Succeeding in high school was easy, being surrounded by friends like Deontay, Cracker Jack Appling, my fellow Cisco networkers, Mr. Russo, Mr. Fletcher, the man, and many supportive teachers like Mr. Pignatello, Mr. Toth, Mr. Zuka, Ms. Boyd, Ms. Pym, Mr. Hathaway, and so many more. I also would not be where I am today without my mom, who birthed me, and my dad, who always supported me, even when it involved taking me to the bars on a school night to play guitar. Another big thank you as well to Dr. Smilak, Dr. Jones, and Ms. Hopkins for never letting the strong efforts of their students go unnoticed. Class of 2012, as the great philosopher Wheezy F. once stated, I used to be ballin', but now I'm Bill Gaten. So must we strive to reach for the stars and never be satisfied in our quest for success. Everyone here has, today has achieved a great accomplishment in graduating, but you also have the potential to become doctors, nurses, lawyers, military leaders, custodial engineers, or politicians maybe even the next Barack Obama, Steve Jobs, or Waka Flocka Flame. <laughs> Fellow classmates, I encourage you to realize the true potential that all of you have and to do everything in your power to live up to that potential and become successful in your endeavors. Gone now are the days of hall passes, extended days, bathroom gambling, and abandoned weave in the hallway. While a few mishaps common to all high schools have given Euclid a bad reputation, I couldn't be more proud of the fact that I can say I graduated from such an amazing school. 20 years from now, no one is going to remember this speech. However, 20 years from now, we will all be able to look back and remember all of the great opportunities that Euclid High School had to offer us. Throughout my four years, I have not only been a part of some pretty amazing things like VC and Big Show, but also met some incredible musicians and friends like Nick, Captain Swag Hudson, that I'll have for the rest of my life. Throughout my four years, I have had the great privilege of having some of the most caring and hardworking teachers who are always willing to go the extra mile to help me succeed. Throughout my four years, I have had the honor of sitting in classes with people that I know are going to go the very furthest that life can take them. Being on stage today is not a result of my hard work, but the result of all the hard work of everyone around me. Any future success that I achieve in my life will be traced back to you, Euclid High School. For those of you who I've never met, and for those of you who I hold as very dear friends, I thank you and wish you the very best of luck in everything that follows. Thank you, Brandon. This young lady has been in Euclid School since she was a wee babe. She has excelled through the years, taking honors classes since her middle school days at Forest Park. Her senior year was filled with five AP classes, varsity chorale, volleyball, softball, and of course, big show. Lucy, or shall I say Dorothy, with her 4.368 GPA, <laughs> has landed several scholarships and will be attending Ohio, excuse me, the Ohio State University this fall. Without further ado, I present your 2012 valedictorian, Jody Ferlito. Good evening, families, 
friends, educators, administrators, board members, and most importantly, fellow 2012 graduates. I would like to take a moment to honor Dr. Jones. On behalf of the class of 2012, I would like you to become an honorary graduate with us. You have been with most of us for the majority of our time in Euclid schools, and it is your final Euclid experience as well. So you deserve to celebrate too. So I would like to give you a tassel. It is an honor I've been dreaming of since elementary school to be speaking in front of all of you tonight. Though I wasn't aware I was going to have to follow such a tough act given by such a talented kid, Brandon. Now, as I know all of you know, it has been quite the experience getting to where we are today. The word experience is the only word I can think of that can adequately describe my 13 years in the Euclid schools. As a noun, experience has two definitions. The knowledge or skill acquired by such means over a period of time, or an event or occurrence that leaves an impression on someone. While both definitions fit our time at Euclid High School, I think the last one fits it best, an event or occurrence that leaves an impression on someone. But my time at Euclid High School has done more than just leave an impression. It has made me who I am today. It has made all of us who we are today. It is because of our experience at Euclid High School that we are able to be here tonight and to accept our diplomas with pride. Throughout high school, and well, our lives up until now, we've had thousands of different kinds of experiences, from good to bad, joyful to sad, big to little, first experiences to last experiences, the list goes on. From freshman to senior year, we have had many of these experiences together in the painted halls of Euclid High School. From major life experiences, like passing the OGTs and going to prom, to little daily experiences like subconsciously learning all the tunes to the hallway music, or simply realizing you have a test the period before you have to take it. All in all, we have had these experiences together, and thank goodness we have, because experiencing things next to each other gave us the power and confidence to try things we not, may not have been willing to try on our own. And let's be honest, experiencing, experiencing things together is just more fun. Our first experiences may seem similar to each other, because as Euclid students, we all lived them. We all experienced our first day as little, clueless freshmen when we still had small schools. And if you're like me, we've experienced getting our first varsity letter or our first time on a Euclid High School stage or simply taking your first high school midterm exam. As insignificant as these events may have felt when we first lived them, now they have become defining moments in our high school careers. Now, four years later, we have had many lasts together. Our last football game, our last big test, our last day of school, and now, our last final hours together as Euclid High School students. This community that we have built together by sharing these common experiences is one of the strongest communities I have ever been a part of. While we each have our own story, these unique high school experiences that are known only to us have turned us into a unified class of 2012. Of course, all of these experiences we have had have not Im only impacted the class of 2012, but all of our parents, teachers, and administrators. Honestly, they have shared all their experience with us, and we thank them for passing along that wisdom and knowledge. And now it is our turn to return the favor and make them proud. Finally, I challenge you, class of 2012, to go out and have new first experiences and new last experiences and all different kinds of experiences. For no matter what happens, they will be experiences to learn from and to grow from and maybe even share as many have done for us. And these experiences will make you the person you are meant to become. It doesn't have to end here. Today is one of the greatest experiences of my life, but I know there is going to be more for each and every one of us. And so, after hearing many speeches given by Dr. Smilak throughout the years, I've learned that nothing ends a speech quite like a song. So I leave you with this. Tonight, we are young. So let's set the world on fire. We could burn brighter than the sun. Thank you and congratulations.
Good evening. Dr. Smilek, and tonight I'm very proud to be the principal of Euclid High School. Before I begin my own remarks, I would like to recognize several members of our faculty. I ask that we hold our applause until we have introduced all members. First, our counselors work very hard with our students to ensure they complete their high school requirements and form plans for their futures. Special thanks tonight to Mrs. Karen Brown, Ms. Lynn Davis, Mr. Alan Fletcher, Mrs. Jessica Mason, Mr. Tony Russo, and Mrs. Susan Turner. Let's give them a round of applause. Next, I would like to thank our coordinator of special activities for all of her work in organizing tonight's event. Thank you to Mrs. Yolanda Lee for all of her efforts. I would also like to thank our senior secretary, Mrs. Sandy Williams, for all of her support to the senior class in their last year of high school. Next, I would also like to recognize and thank our administrative team. You already met Mrs. Hopkins. Thank you to Mr. Ed Klein, Ms. Tawana Thomas, and Mr. Steve Hardaway for your leadership. Now I would like to turn my attention to the students whose accomplishments we come together to celebrate. The class of 2012. First, I would like us all to recognize the top 10 ranked students in our senior class. Students, when I call your name, please stand and remain standing. Congratulations to Jody Ferlito, Brandon Sinkovic, Eric Botsky, Deontay Appling, Anne Marie Kulbis, Alexis Douglas, Kylie Bartram, Katherine Hoggett, Daniel Essel, and Dijon Davis. Congratulations, top 10. Next, I would like to recognize several students who participated in our post-secondary enrollment options program. 25 students took classes which earned both high school and college credit. Two of these students actually earned associate's degrees from Lakeland Community College. Students, when I call your name, please stand and remain standing. Congratulations to Marissa Lopez and Emily Sweet. Further, one student earned the equivalent of three semesters of credit at Cleveland State University during her junior and senior years. Congratulations to Shayla Lyles. Next, as a symbol of our commitment to the greater Euclid community, we have asked our students to perform community service both inside and outside our school. Tonight, we would like to honor these students who completed at least 10 hours of community service during their senior year. Students, when I call your name, please stand and remain standing. Gabrielle Broom, Emily Garza, Andrew Harold, Krishana Lee, Eileen Mills, Shantia Patterson, Donatica Philpot, Quinton Sims, Anaya Smith, Deandre Smith-Taylor, Teresa Sui, and Imani Tanton. Thank you, students, for your service. Finally, I would like to direct your attention to our program. Graduates earning special honors are indicated by symbol next to their name. And those wearing a blue cord this evening participated in our senior project or capstone experience. Before I certify our graduating class, I would like to leave you with one last piece of wisdom. Mark Twain explained, 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the ones you did do. So throw off the bowlines, sail away from the safe harbor, 
Catch the trade winds in your sails. Explore, dream, discover. Tonight, you will sail into the sunset, away from the safe harbor that Euclid High School has provided. As you sail, remember the challenge that Twain provided. Explore all that you ever dreamed of experiencing. Dream great dreams, and then do everything you can to make them come true. And finally, work hard every day so that you can discover how sweet this world, this life, can be. Thank you for your attention this evening, and congratulations. Dr. Jones, on behalf of Euclid High School, I have the pleasure to certify to you that each student commencing this evening has completed all requirements for graduation from the Euclid City Schools, as well as meeting all requirements from the state of Ohio, including passing all required coursework and all required parts of the Ohio graduation test. Thank you, Dr. Smilek. Before I present the class to Mrs. Van Ho, I would like to share a few remarks. Commencement is a time for celebration, but it's also a time for reflection. Many learned men and women have addressed assemblages just like this one. Some try to be funny. Some try to be instructive. Others try to be insightful. But all are honored to be standing before a large crowd of people who have collectively achieved the same milestone. They have completed an educational institution's requirement to pass into a com common fraternity the body of graduates who comprise the history of the school. I am a proud alumnus of Kent State University, Cleveland State University, Ohio University, and Garden City High School in New York, and now an honorary member of the class of 2012 Euclid High School. I know that we have with us tonight many proud alumni of the, of the Euclid High School. Would all alums in the audience and on stage please stand to be recognized? Every spring, every spring as superintendent, I grapple with my commencement address. I want the ideas to be fresh rather than hackneyed. Tonight, I am wrapping my comments in a common conceit. I am calling it the top 10 things that commencement speakers may not tell you. So here we go. Number 10. Few of the friends you made in high school will remain in your life for more than a year or two after graduation, especially true if you go away to college or to work. Those who do remain are as precious as gold. Keep them close, and they will enrich, enrich your lives. Number nine, kindergarten was not as easy as you remember it, and algebra should not have been as difficult as it seemed. <laughs> Number eight, you've just finished the easiest part of life's journey. You had the support of family and teachers who cared where you were coming from and where you were going to. After tonight, you are going to have to do a great deal of standing on your own, and you are not as prepared for this challenge as you think you are, so be ready. Number seven, a college campus is a great place to fall in love. Number six, the community has, on average, paid over $100,000 for every one of you to be educated for 13 years, um, in some cases more than 13 years, and they care enough about you to require you to go to school and to help you graduate. In the next four years, or five or six, Many of you or your parents will pay that much or more to a college where you are expected to make it pretty much on your own without much help. Number five, for those of you who are heading directly to work, a diploma is not all you need. Employers want your undivided attention, your attendance, your promptness, your cooperation, and proper dress. And they demand and deserve your respect in return for your paycheck they can train you to do anything else. Number four, if you are going off to college, find a study group or form one on your own and become a meaningful contributing member of it. 
This will help you not only academically, and you, but you may also just meet someone who is a lifelong friend. Number three, you didn't do this on your own. So you need to thank your parents, grandparents, ministers, priests, teachers, neighbors, anyone who helped you get there this evening. Number two, being present for work or college classes is, the, is only the minimum. Being prepared produces results. And the number one thing commencement speakers may not say to you, the greatest gift you can give back to your community is to make them proud by being productive, responsible citizens. <laughs> Best of all, this costs nothing but means everything. So graduates, we celebrate you on this 29th day of May 2012. We wish you much luck and much success. The road to riches is paved by hard work and focused efforts, two qualities that most of you here tonight have demonstrated. Pay us back by making us proud forever. Thank you. <laughs> Mrs. Van Ho, <laughs> would you now please join me at the podium? Mrs. Van Ho, I present to you the Euclid High School class of 2012 all of them certified by Dr. Smilak as having fulfilled all local and state requirements for graduation, including passing all five sections of the Ohio graduation test. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Jones. Before I begin, I ask that everyone join me in thanking Dr. Jones for his leadership as superintendent these past 10 years. <laughs> to my fellow board members, Dr. Jones, Dr. Smilik, staff, parents, families, and especially to the proud Euclid Panthers class of 2012. Well, graduates, to you, it seems like it's been a long 13 years. To your families, it seems like just yesterday you were entering a new world called school. You were embarking on your formal education in kindergarten at the end of the last century. And now you are taking the st first steps towards adulthood. Tomorrow, you wake up as a high school graduate and no one can take that away from you. <laughs> Treasure it, for even if you go on to earn a college degree, a master's, and a PhD, you will never spend as long in your one pursuit or grow as much as you have during the education period you are completing tonight. I want you to think of your education as a gift. A gift, you ask? I had to work to get my education. How is that a gift? It would be easy to answer by saying that you received your gift from the citizens of Euclid. However, looking back in history, there have been many persons responsible for your education. Going all the way back to the 16th century, a part of Martin Luther's tenets of the Protestant Reformation was to educate the common man so he could read and interpret the scriptures. The idea of a universal education was a unique and radical concept, and it was a gift for future generations. Within just 20 years of landing on the Mayflower, the pilgrims founded town schools, a Latin grammar school, and Harvard College. The priority of education is a gift from the pilgrims. When the Connecticut Land Company set out the Western Reserve, which is most of Northeast Ohio, they established that one section of each township was set aside to provide for the education of children. Before towns were even formed, their priority was education. Those surveyors mapping out the area 
set the standard for providing for public education in the state of Ohio. In the last century, there were people fighting and marching for equal education, saying separate but equal is not equal. Their legacy is the gift of an education where all students, regardless of race, color, ethnicity, can learn and achieve together. So yes, your education is a gift to be cherished. But now that you have your gift, what do you do with it? Let's start with registering to vote and then making sure you get to the polls, not just in presidential elections, but in all elections. In Northeast Ohio, there have been elections won by a coin toss. A coin toss. Can you imagine all that hard work trying to get elected and then because one person didn't vote, the decision came down to a coin toss? You will need to use the critical thinking skills you learned in school to sort through all the half-truths and false statements that will be tossed around during election season. Take time to understand the issues. Know the candidates. Volunteer to help a candidate or an issue that you believe in. Use your gifts. You can also use your skills of literacy to help make life better for someone. Be a mentor or a positive role model in the life of a child. Read pre to preschoolers to expand their vocabulary so they are ready for the rigors of school. Read to an elderly person whose sight has failed them. Write letters of support to our servicemen and women who are defending freedom around the world. Write a letter to the editor to try to influence public policy or opinion. And best of all, write a thank you note to one of your teachers or coaches who has made a difference in your life. Use your gifts. Remember your history lessons, for it is important to know where we have been in order to know where we are going and how we are going to get there. Pundits say that history repeats itself. Well, it does if we as a society don't learn from the, the lessons history teaches us. What were the issues of the Civil War? And how can we make sure that war is not fought again? What lessons did we learn from the World Wars, Korea, Vietnam? Have we insured against another Holocaust? Do you speak out against hatred? prejudice, hurtful words and actions? Do you step up to help the weak and defenseless? Use your gifts. Remember your science lessons to improve and protect our environment. Try to reduce your carbon footprint in our world. Reuse, recycle, reduce. Use your scientific reasoning to question all the facts that are presented about the latest fads in muscle building, dieting, and medicines. Question the issues of fracking, mineral rights, Arctic drilling, pipelines, and others now in the future that can affect our natural resources and our lives. Use your gifts. Remember all that you've learned about relationships with others. What can you do to make this world a better place? Make random acts of kindness a natural part of your life. Smile, help, lift up. Whatever you end up doing, be the best at doing it. And make your parents and grandparents proud. Ask yourself the simple question, am I making the world a little better place by being here. Use your gifts to make the difference. Good luck to all of you, and thank you. And now, on behalf of the Euclid City Board of Education, I do accept that this 
2012 graduating class of Euclid High School has met all the requirements of the Euclid City Board of Education, the state of Ohio, including passing all parts of the Ohio graduation test. So let us begin distributing the diplomas. Jody Ferlito. Brandon Sinkovic. Deontay Appling. Rebecca Arco. Kylie Bartram. Janae Bell. Eric Botsky. Dijon Davis. Alexis Douglas. Daniel Essel. Emily Garza. Rosalind Gordon. Tamron Granger. Jasmine Hill. Katherine Hoggett. Vincent Clun. Daniel Crane. Anna Marie Kobus. Megan Mercado. Charisma Smith. I'd like to bring up Mr. Fletcher. Corsandra Adams, Rodney Adamson II, Shalo Augusto, Misael Augusto, Chaz Akins, Paul Albert Jr. Robert Allen, Jr. <laughs> Ali Anderson. Sierra Anderson. Sasha Anderson. Mariah Armstrong. Jamie Austin. Julian Babnick. 
Orlando Baker. Tevin Bates. Tierra Battle. Aubriel Beal. Anthony Beeler. Mark Beeman. Joseph Belovich. Jennifer Bell. Ariane Benefield. Elizabeth Benno, Anthony Bentley, Ashley Bentley, Anisha Berry, Brandy Berry. Miles Berry, Bruce Bertrand Jr., Curtis Bazell, Travis Black, Carolyn Blake. Christian Bogarty. Devon Bonner. Deloria Booker. Asha Boom. Houston Boone Jr. Ashane Brent. Gabrielle Broom. Nicholas Bruno. Jazlyn Bryson. Deontay Bolgen. Samantha Bojan. Suvada Bojabasi. <laughs> Amanda Burrell. Jessica Burton. Samuel Butler. William Byrne. Dejanae Kane. Alexis Campbell. Brandy Campbell. Mark Campbell. Jay Capuzzo. Tiffany Carlisle, Delvon Carmichael, Talani Carter, Shayla Chambers, Jalen Antoine Chapman. Jalen Chesney. Daisha Childs. Kelsey Shirillo. Kenya Clark. Dion Clayton. Le 
Lindsay Cloud. Jordan Coleman. Kinshaya Collins. Jasmine Cook. Master Cook. Rain Cook. Donald Cooley Jr. Molly Cosmo. Nicolette Creel. Sierra Cummings. Desmond Cunningham. Khadijah Daniel. Javon Davis. <laughs> Jordan Davis. Katia Davis. Rael Davis. Brittany Dean. Don Juan Demore. <laughs> Dantes Derricott. Sherrod Dixon. Dawn Dixon. Joe Nay Dowdell. Jordan Edwards. Vincent Egler Jr. Sharuk El Bagori. Lorenzo Ellington. And then Karen. That's the last one. Erica Avens Avery. Lawrence Ewing. Ms. Brown will be announcing the names for the last names, students F through J. Rashad Ferguson. Asia Fleming. Antonasia Fletcher. Anthony Fuller. Connor Fuller. Kayla Garland. Monte Garrett. Jacob Gashevsky, Ashley Goggin, George Gendrich, Brianna George, Larry George. Janelle Gibson, Coco Glenn, Antonio Goldsboro, Brandon Gonzalez, Jasmine Goodwin, Ashley Gorse, 
Brianna Gray. Stanley Green. Shadaria Griffin. Artia Gunn. Shaquille Hairston. Rainisha Hall. Brianna Hansen. Joshua Harpst. Sierra Hardy. Ariana Hargrove. Michael Harmon. Amber Harper. Cornell Harper Jr. Romero Harper. Dejanay Harris. Reginald Harris. Chanel Harrison. Andrew Harold. Amber Hawkins. Diamond Hawkins. Sharia Hurd. Tenarius Hurd. Brian Henderson. Derek Henderson. Paige Henderson. Jordan Harrington. Cassandra Hickey. Jarrell Hill. Jaron Hill. Dallas Hillman. Jessica Hine. Antoine Hobbs. Turney Holt. Dantes Hopper. Anthony Howard III. Courtney Howard. Zuri Howard. Sheila Hutnall. Nicholas Hudson. Rachel Hughes. Kavan Hunter. Anthony Irby. Jerry Eisler Jr. Shannon Ivy. Isaiah Jackson. Jay Jackson. Devon James. Anthony Jelenic. Christian Jeter. Alexis Johnson. Allegra Johnson. Brianna Johnson. Caressa Johnson. Darren Johnson. 
John Johnson. Kylan Johnson. Tysiana Johnson. Verita Johnson. Aaliyah Jones. Curtis Jones. Mariah Jones. Tierra Jones. And Monte Jordan. Mrs. Turner will now present the students with last names M through R. Good evening. Many congratulations go to Angelique Kane. Deontay Kirkwood. David Klozar. Danielle Marie Krevanka. Boyce Laney. Sherdina Larry. Armad Larry. Sean Laughlin. Jonathan Law. Denzel Lee. Devin Lamar Lee. Krishana Lee. Daniel Lee Grand. Rebecca Lemieux. Kelvin Leisure. Amanda Lewis. Clark Alexandra Lewis. Tavon Dominique Lewis. Anthony Little, Jr. <laughs> Joe Little. <laughs> Sandasia Diamond Lively. Ariel Livingston. Keontae Long. Raymond Lee Longstreet. Marissa Nicole Lopez. Tore Luke. Shayla Marie Lyles. <laughs> Courtney Lynn Mace. Terrell Darnell Maddox. Casey Marshburn. I know. Clayton Martimus. <laughs> Andre Martin. Kamal Mason Gardner. Dominique Matthews. Kara Maxwell. Don Latrice McCain. Simone McCollum.
Mariah McGee. Ebony McKelvey. Anthony McNeil. <laughs> Alexis Mia. Ariel McNeil. Alante Mia. Jasmine Merritt. Tiana Middlebrook. Sapphire Murphy. Angela Miller. Brian Miller. Eileen Mills. <laughs> Dorian Milton. Rayshawn Minard. Avion Mitchell. Deja Mitchell. Chelsea Morgan. Dante Morgan. Jarmine Tyrone Moore II. Fernando Morales Jr. Elizabeth Joanne Morick. Allison Kayla Morris. Tawan Morris. <laughs> Tierra Morton. Charles Moss, Jr. D'Angelo Marcel Moss. Caleb Moyers. <laughs> Fatima Muhammad. Bontea Nelson. Bobby Noel. Narkis O'Neill. Anthony Vincent Osby Jr. Thomas James Owens. Regina London Owusu AG. Shantia Patterson. <laughs> Olivia Charlotte Payne. Nikesha Percy. Tania Renee Peoples. Donatica Philpot. Adam Polder. William Richard Anthony Pritchett. Taylor Rambo. Alina Rasavong. Tertiana Reed. Dominic Reese. Kenneth Deshaun Reese the third. <laughs> Keith Reeves. <laughs> Latasha Rembert. <laughs> Elizabeth Renko. <laughs> Latasha Roberts. Rayshawn William Roberts. 
Devante Robinson. Adrian Rogers. Yusuf Rogers. Rynell Roper. Cheyenne Rose. Natalie Elizabeth Rose. Roquetta Rucker. And Deja Russell. Ms. Lynn Davis will be up to present the rest of the alphabet. Samuel J. Sanford. DeLorean Saxon. Ariel E. Schaefer. Ryan Schaefer. Joshua I. Scott. Kevin James Scott. Kiana R. Scott. Tiara Monique Scott. Sierra C. Sears. Devon J. Shea. Beverly M. Shealy. Ricolette Lanice Simmons. Amalik C. Sims. Brian Deshawn Sims. Quentin A. Sims. Devante M. Singletary. Delvante A. Sleeper. Ademante Chanel Smith. Anaya R. Smith. Justice B. Smith. Keith Smith. Kevon K. Smith. DeAndre James Smith Taylor. Jaron D. Sneed. Jacob M. Sonhalter. Taylor P. Sowell. Nadisha Spencer. Tyler Rashawn Stafford. Damone J. Stevenson. Brian K. Stewart. Christina L. Storrs. A.J. Stovall, Jr. Kate C. Sudar. Olivia S. Sufka. 
Teresa Sui. Shantea Denise Sullivan. Ar Arnell Javon Summers. Antoine S. Suttles. Emily Kate Sweet. Imani L. Tantan. Miranda Kamel Taylor. Megan C. Tom Cran. Jamal A. Thomas. Deidre N. Thompson. Dominique T. Thompson. Mandel Lejeune Thurman. Torin Michael Trivich. Antonio A. Tucker. Damira A. Varner. Benny Walker III. Joseph E. Walker. Brandon K. Wallace. Arabian Zenobian Waller. Assyrian Waller. Brittany Alicia Waller. Erica Michelle Ward. Kelsey A. Watkins. Sean E. Watkins Tate. Diamond A. Watts. Clifton Patrick Webster. Joshua Corey Wells. Erica J. White. Marjorie Marie White. Tiara M. White. Thailand Monique White. Xavier Devante Whitmore. Alexis L. Wiggins. Felicia C. Wiggins. Shandon Shaquan Wilder. Kaylin C. Williams. Deshaun Maurice Williams. Diane L. Williams. Devin Williams.
Dion C. Williams. Ebony R. Williams. Jasmine Nicole Williams. Kevin R. Williams. Sierra M. Williams. Winston Williams. Asia Ranisha Elise Willis. Jermaine Witherspoon. Sydney R. Wood. Alexis Simone Woods. Laris Wright. Chaprice E. Winston. Please applaud the entire 2012 graduating class of Euclid High School with love and peace. Congratulations. Congratulations to the class of 2012. You may now switch your tassel to the left side of your cap as an official symbol of your commencement from Euclid High School.